guys, Kelvin from Plugin Boutique here, and today I want to look at a very cool bit of software called Auto Theory. Auto Theory essentially is a useful tool if uh, you're not a trained musician, uh, you're not fantastic on the keyboard, and you like to be able to come up with some cool chord progressions and melodies that go along with those chord progressions. Um, so we'll take a look at this today. First I want to mention about the installation. Uh, installation is pretty typical. One thing that is slightly different is that this requires a software version of iLock to work. Uh, it's a free uh, installation of iLock and uh, they give you directions on how to get that as you're going through uh, the installation process for Auto Theory. So once you get Auto Theory installed, uh, what you'll have is something that looks like this. Uh, now, it's not a plugin per se. Uh, basically, it's a bit of software that sits in between your, uh, your controller, your MIDI controller, and your DAW. So essentially what happens is once you install Auto Theory, uh, you'll uh, open up your DAW and then launch Auto Theory. And you'll go through the setup process. Um, so, as I mentioned, what it does is it sits between your DAW and your controller keyboard. So, when you launch it for the first time, you go into your options and preferences, and you'll see MIDI inputs, and you can select the input that you want uh, to be sending MIDI to Auto Theory. Now, I use my ASR10 as my keyboard controller. Uh, it found that very quickly. In fact, it found everything that was connected to my machine. And so that was a pretty simple process. Um, now, once you have that uh, set up and you've got the input from your controller running into Auto Theory, as you trigger keys on your controller, you will notice that it also triggers keys on Auto Theory. So let me demonstrate that here. And you can see that it is, in fact, triggering Auto Theory. Now, um, I'm only pressing one key here, and it is generating chords through um, its chord generator. Uh, it's a very useful tool. Again, if you're not great at creating cool chord progressions, this is something that you might find very, very useful. Uh, but that's not all. Uh, the, the one cool thing that I really like about Auto Theory is, in addition to it generating chords, it also generates melodies based on those chords. So um, you'll notice that as I uh, trigger keys on the upper half of my keyboard, it's triggering in the area that it refers to as melody lock. And if you look at the keyboard on the bottom of Auto Theory, you'll notice that instead of it being chords at this point in time, it's single keys. So let's demonstrate what you can do with that. Um, I've set up uh, the Lounge Lizard plugin, which uh, as you may know is a very cool a Rhodes emulation uh, to get MIDI from Auto Theory uh, via my controller keyboard. And so I will play it now and play the lower half of my keyboard, which will generate chords that will trigger the Rhodes. Now, you have uh, full capabilities in terms of what chords you want to generate. Um, I've selected it in this case to have its root be B-flat, um, and I'm selecting the minor scale. And in addition to that, I've uh, selected that I want it to play seventh chords. So basically, I'm getting seventh chords in the minor scale, which is quite nice for sort of deep house type vibes. So uh, that's very cool, but uh, again, one of the features of Auto Theory is that it also has this melody lock, which will lock the upper half of my keyboard to the scale of the chord that I'm in and uh, generate sounds based upon that. So as I hold down a chord with the lower part of my keyboard and play a melody with the upper half, they will both go together very nicely. One thing I want to mention, I've changed something here, is that by default, uh, Auto Theory will play the upper half of the keyboard uh, one octave higher than the lower half. So you'll notice that the lower half is here set to three, and by default, the upper half is set to four. So I'll play again, and you'll hear the difference. Uh, 
So by doing that, what I've come up with is a nice little progression here that you can hear with both chords and melody running out of the lounge lizard. So the next thing I wanted to do was come up with a bass line. Uh, so I selected my bass patch. Once again, I have its MIDI coming from Auto Theory. And I armed it. And as you remember, I had moved the octave down a few because it was playing the bass patch a little too high. So as I move this down, you'll hear the bass patch play. Uh, let me arm this channel. And as I bring this down a few octaves, that bass patch will start to sound a bit better. There we go. Right, so now I'm coming up with a bass line um, that will go nicely with both my chords and my melody coming from the roads. And this is what I've come up with very quickly. And then finally, I wanted to come up with a little something to accompany those, and what I've selected is my Nord lead. And once again, you'll see that I've got Auto Theory triggering the Nord lead. And I played some sounds on the Nord lead, which I have since bounced to audio, and we can listen to those here. I will now play all of them together and you'll get a sense of uh, what I've come up with very quickly using uh, Auto Theory. And I highly recommend you check this out. Installation, as I mentioned, is a little bit fiddly because you have to get the eye lock, but it's free. And in just a matter of a few minutes, I've been able to come up with some interesting ideas, all of which go together nicely. Um, I should mention that it does show you the MIDI, so uh, it's a great way to learn about music theory as well uh, and figure out what kind of progressions are going nicely together. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 